heart and beauty kinesthetic formalism have you ever judged an artwork well feel free to judge marine the picture the painting on the right side is not that beautiful in my point of view because it doesn't have a single theme that doesn't emit a single vibe it is mixed it's a mess you could well safely said that a beginner made that work i am the i am the one who made that work i a beginner for your information i've only painted i think five paintings but i guess i could say that i am a good drawer i'm good at drawing i get it but it's not beautiful on the other side the left side i honestly like it the snake plant in the path looks like an actual snake plant do not judge me it's on my perspective so i guess what i am trying to say here is that everyone has that feeling when seeing something especially art to judge it because they are thinking that oh this is good this is average this is not that good to the point of thinking that you know what that is ugly that is bad and that feeling is called aesthetic aesthetic is a feeling you guys there are three main theories of aesthetic that judge the beautifulness or even the ugliness of work of art paintings first concept to theory is imitationalism imitationalism concerns with how the artwork imitates the real object in the reality if the artwork is closer to the real object then the artwork is considered beautiful second emotionalism concerns with the emotion invoked by the work of art if the artwork is able to stimulates a similar feeling on every viewer then these artists are successfully make a beautiful artwork in emotionalism perspective the third is my topic formalism which is concerned with how well the elements of art are arranged using the principle of art in our artwork like concept theory of aesthetic there is there are also three major factors in major principles that are working in in judging a form of an art first okay i would like to just acknowledge where i get this picture i get this from the presentation of Dr. Allen Poe that you, Sir Nelson, uploaded on the lecture files. First is the fundamental principles, order and structure. Look at the picture on the upper left that doesn't have order and structure. An artwork doesn't have an order and structure as well. Let's just imagine this as a person. Yeah, person's face. So try to visualize every part of a person's face, face in every scattered all over places in random in, in a piece of art that will look uncomfortable that is just a mess that's ugly second 
not second. Secondly, with order but no structure. Yeah, there is, we can observe some order in that because the spaces in between squares are equal. It is predictable, predictable, but that doesn't mean that it is beautiful because that doesn't form a single girl structure the squares aren't connected on each other thirdly without order but with structure yeah there is an order the squares are connected on each other but not in a beautiful order it's a mess it's disaster Second principle is called the specific principle, proportions and integrity. So, with the proper proportions. So, take a look at this be left below picture. One squares, one squares and is, is abnormally enlarged. So that is not beautiful so just try imagining a person with large head if someone if somebody has in real life has that rare condition that person will suffer and that is not just appealing to our senses so a disproportionate disproportional artwork is ugly I would like to thank again Dr. Helen Orate for the pictures. So, next on the specific principles of integrity. So, if a part is missing in an artwork, then the artwork is ugly. So, again, let's use the metaphor of the person. Just visualize a person doesn't have an arm for whatever reason, bacterial, virological infection, then he'll be suffering not only physically but with the judging people, judging mind of people. And the third concept of form is individual principle in formalism the simpler the simplest the more beautiful mm -mm. so i guess this is could could i could safely describe it by stating that the simple somebody something some somewhat is then the easier for us, the beholder, to understand what it is all about. And I guess understanding is a key principle in, in formalism. In art, formalists argues that it is the form, you know, form the three basic principles of the form that I mentioned, the fundamental principle, specific principle, individual principle that makes art truly an art, which is different from Filipino concept of art. Because as we tackle from Sarah Nelson's class, Filipino's concept of art is not only pleasant in eyes to the all to the to the olfactory senses, but eyes, but Filipino arts are able to serve food to their families, to make to make the community's life better economically, because we can see Filipino art in our daily lives. Just when you go outside to transport, to so like let let's just assume that. I'll, you'll be going to PUP to be for whatever reason, then 
you will be seeing, noticing some beautiful designs stick in the jeepneys. That is colorful. That is a Filipino art. And second example is a lot of people in indigenous people specifically are getting their income from tourists local and international because they are buying the handmade the handmade cloth commonly which is commonly visually colorful by the visitors they are making money because Filipino art is not just for the concept of art, while formalists mostly, formalist point of view of art mostly, or I guess it's safe to say that aligns with that notion, art for the sake of art. In assessing the value of an artwork, it does not matter whether it is produced in the first world country. So let me reiterate this again. Mm, as long as an art, even if it is made by anyone, somebody, anybody, as long as the output is conforming to the three basic principles that I mentioned and discussed, it is considered beautiful. That will be considered beautiful in formalism. Second, it is not, it doesn't matter if it's written and produced by famous artists in painting Leonardo da Vinci. Some of his painting may not be considered that beautiful by formalism, by formalists. In songwriting, Taylor Swift, like, let's say, because I'm a big fan of hers. I'm a Swifty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now let's go on to the positive since I'm so fan. I'm a fan of her. So she made an album called 1989, which is an 80s pop vibe. She is able to make every track on the album have an 80s pop vibe therefore make therefore her artwork are considered by you know grammy people they are expert well known by their well known by their knowledge in music and that's why 1989 is deserving of the album of the year 2015 in the Grammys. What is important, therefore, is whether the particular hard work follows the prescribed form and style of the artwork's relevant genre. It is like a book fish, book based person. To be more objective to the art because formalists believe that the artwork must be objective it must follow a certain criteria to be considered beautiful here the formalists are trying i guess i am just saying this personally to judge the artwork objectively I would like to leave you all, sir, with this quotation. Life is a work of art, and what you see depends on your perspective. Thank you. I'm Josh Oliver, see this Bye.